Hello, it's Raina from Zillabue. Today we will be doing some fun nail art using the Fiote Nuance Collection. Let's dive in as we create some gorgeous marble nails. First I will be applying a layer of base gel to the nail tip. Then I will add the Slim Builder Gel on top. I am using the two colors that are the best for marble art, STO2 Standard White and NU04 Muted Khaki. I am placing a small amount of the colors on the palette. Using the Fiote B1 Long Square Brush, I will use the white to create a pattern. Lightly tap the brush on the nail to help it mix with the Slim Builder. You can use any flimsy brush to create this effect. Now I'm applying the muted khaki color while filling in the empty spaces. At this point, I have not cured at all. Smudge the edges of the two colors to create a smooth effect. Try to apply in a tapping motion instead of using a sweeping motion. Cure for 30 seconds. Now I'm cleaning up the brush a little with the Slim Builder Gel. Let's do the marbling effect with the brush again. Apply the Slim Builder Gel. You can pat with the brush so you can merge and smooth out the colors. Now I am applying the muted khaki again. Since the syrup gels from the Nuance Collection have a deeper formula compared to typical syrup gels, the color gel's opacity is much thicker and we can see the color while it still has a watery syrupy effect. For this reason, this syrup gel is perfect for marble art. I tried to not have a solid vivid white color but a white with a blurry, foggy feel. If you feel the white color is too vivid, you can use the brush to lightly tap along and blend the two colors together to make it smooth and natural. Since I am working on this without curing it, it is very easy to fix mistakes. I am delicately sliding along the surface with the brush to make a marble effect.
This white color gel is not the type to just spread all over the place. So even as I am retouching over and over, it is smudging a little bit at a time in a wavy feeling instead of all over the place. This is why I keep retouching it. If the color gel is the type that spreads out easily, it will be lost during the process before curing. I am now retouching the spots I want to be more vivid. Cure for 30 seconds. Now we are going to use CL31 for extra glitter flakes. Cure for 30 seconds. Next, I'm going to make a line. For the point line, I am using CL20 Dear Champagne Glitter Gel. As you can see, this glitter gel has a dense grouping of glitters. This gel has good adhesion, so once you apply it, it will stay in place. I will be making a thin fancy line with our Fiote A1 Slim Liner Brush. The feeling of the final result for Marble Arts will change drastically depending on how and where you apply all these lines. You can use French lines or wave lines and it'll all feel different, so play around and see what you like. CL20 was made to accentuate the pearl flower type of nail art by using lines so it won't spread out after applying like other glitter gels. We will cure for 30 seconds again. I have created the glitter line and now I will overlay with the Slim Builder Gel. It is very easy to overlay with the Slim Builder Gel on the top of the nail art. The gel is very comfortable to use since it feels very smooth to apply. Cure for 30 seconds. I am finishing up with Addiction Top Gel. I have already made an even smooth surface layer with the Slim Builder Gel. Now the final layer will not be very thick since we used the Slim Builder Gel which keeps the layers thin even when applying many layers. Cure for 30 seconds. I hope you enjoyed this fun and easy tutorial. Thanks for watching.